Hey everyone, this is Jordan here doing a full self-driving supervised test of our Hardware 4 Model X on 12.5.6.1. What a mouthful. It's been a long time since I've recorded a video of any kind. Um, you'll have to bear with me, it's been really forever. Uh, I figured I would go ahead and, and, and put together a, a pretty um, heavy test in New York City in Midtown on a Saturday um, after having several near flawless drives I thought it was time to uh, go ahead and, and do so so we're gonna drive through Midtown I'm gonna change the locations and the destination several times um, and work through probably what is the one of the most crowded areas of Manhattan which is by um, Rockefeller Center. We have a lot of pedestrian interactions, a lot of road issues, a lot of crazy people on bikes, cabs, cars, everything you probably can imagine in New York City. Um, I speed the video up and slow the video down throughout because there is a lot of traffic in Manhattan. Um, I mark the speed the video is playing at in the bottom left hand corner as well. Uh, so that everyone understands exactly how fast the video is being sped up. It's very rare that I actually keep the video at 100% normal speed for this um, because the one hour long drive would subsequently take over an hour to record and upload and it uh, didn't really make a lot of sense to upload that kind of video in Manhattan because everyone would just be staring at traffic like I was in real time. So I'm on the ride with my buddy. He's never been in a car for a full self-driving demo. I thought it was a good time to initiate him. As you can see, we're on a street that doesn't really have much painting or marking. They seem to be redoing Madison Avenue in New York City. Um, Unfortunately for the camera, it's a little shaky. Fortunately for full self-driving demos, it's a good look at how the car has been performing without lane lines. Uh, it certainly improved drastically since the later, the earlier versions of 12.3, 12.4. I think 12.5 has been really good at this. You can see it's handling these pedestrian interactions really well here. Um, waiting really for people to run across the street. New York City is very challenging that you effectively have to thread the needle between sitting on a corner way too long and uh, hitting someone <laughs> as they try to cross the street and you try to squeeze your way in. You can see here that we went through an area where the road is super narrow and this guy is like uh, in this booth is like in the middle of the street, not in the middle of the street. Full self driving does a pretty good job identifying and realizing this. A lot of the pedestrians walk outside of the lines in New York, uh, or they like prop themselves up right at the edge of the sidewalk and full self driving seems to do a pretty good job of, of waiting for people to decide if they're gonna dart out across the street or uh, wait like they should uh, for the light to turn and, and them to be able to walk. Um, you know, caught in traffic here a little bit, not too bad. I think it's doing a great job of navigating these pretty complex situations here. I had to make a navigation change. I tried to pull over there because we were at the end of the route. Um, once again, doing a really nice job of, of just waiting for people to decide if they want to walk and go. Um, I think that it could probably be a bit more aggressive. It probably could also have pulled up here. Um, a little bit more, but funny enough, people decide that they want to go the wrong way on a bike down this area. And, and I switched the clip back to regular time to show that people are just crazy. They just squeeze by in the smallest areas here. Um, we are up, I think, on the west side, like on 6th Avenue right now, uh, right by Rockefeller Center. There's a lot of people not even paying any attention crossing the street. It's a really wide crosswalk. Um, people are just doing what they want and the car is doing a really nice job of getting over. I actually really like the way that it, um, you know, tried to move into that lane and then realized that there was more space for it to pull behind the bus. Um, the bus here 
switches to a bus only lane so the car needs to decide if it could move over i think it did a really nice assertive job of getting out of this uh turning or bus only lane here uh, you can see the other tesla's kind of trapped in that uh goes through a yellow light as it should in new york here and and then we um, stop here on the corner of the park and, and 57th Street for a few minutes here. There's a lot of traffic in this area of New York City. Um, I've noticed overall just big improvements with lane changing uh, and, and the early lane changing in this version. I know that 12.5.6.1 was supposed to introduce earlier, more natural lane changes. I'm not sure if it's technically only supposed to be a highway only change, but it seems to be doing it on the city street stacks as well. Um, get stuck behind this like bike tricycle thing here. You can just see the sheer number of pedestrian traffic is insane, especially in this is Columbus Circle, which is probably one of the most busy roundabouts in all of New York. Probably one of the most busy roundabouts in all of North America. Uh, car does a pretty good job, a little hesitant at first to make the turn because there's a lot of pedestrians, uh, but it, it does what it needs to do. It moves over, it signals, it gets up to this green light, which people don't seem to abide by as far as the pedestrian traffic. Um, and then it continues forward. Really nice. There's a bright red cyber truck on the left-hand side I was pointing out for my buddy. Uh, thing's pretty insane. And it continues up until we get to the <clears throat> entrance to the park on the right hand side. Um, I make some routing changes here and then change my mind. So I had to pull the car out of full self driving for a second. Not really counting that as an intervention. That's really my fault. The car was going to make the left, but I didn't really, really want to go any more west. So you can see me manipulating the screen here, changing the course several times. Um, yeah, it's pretty incredible, this version with pedestrian interactions and the bike interactions. Um, you can see the person in the bike just came up, you know, the bike lane's kind of like blocked right here. Does a really nice job of waiting for all these bikes to pass so that we don't end up getting uh, sideswiped by someone who's not paying any attention. Ne negotiates this pedestrian traffic really well and then continues forward. This is a pretty funny part of the video. Um, I don't think I've ever seen an interaction like that. The forklift pops out, the car stops. I gave the guy a peace sign, thought it was a pretty funny interaction and was kind of hoping the car would go into the highway stack here just to see how it performed, but it didn't, which was totally okay. Um, continuing on back to the east side of New York here. The car got a slight bit confused because these people were jutting out of the crosswalk, but overall did a good job, figured it out, um, and realized also that this section of the road was closed here nice and early. I really noticed, as I was saying, that it's just doing a much better job of planning ahead these days. Um, the highway stack is just phenomenal at planning ahead. The city street stack could be a bit more aggressive. I think that's gonna come with the speed profiles that are implemented soon. Uh, hopefully in 12.5.6.2, if not probably an early V13 version, but unfortunately I'm not an early tester and I will probably not get that version for at least a month uh, with the rest of the people around Thanksgiving. That's at least what the Tesla AI team has been saying. Let's see how it all really goes. Um, Let's see what else is going on here. It's a uh, you know, pretty calm area of the city in comparison to where we just came from. I think the car just did a really nice job of staying up with traffic, getting over when it needs to. You can see here that people don't even realize the car is actually just driving itself, which is incredible, um, especially compared to earlier versions. I, I wouldn't even have attempted this in versions earlier than 12.5. Uh, five, to be honest, 12.3, way too jittery still, would get honked at way too much in New York City. Um, you can see here, it decided that it wanted to wait for these people, and then I had to give one accelerator tap, which was the only accelerator tap the whole drive, uh, to account for the fact that it thought those people were gonna run out in the street, but we already had a green light. I uh, had to stop there to grab some stuff, but got back in the car, continued full self-driving. 
uh, back kind of around the, so the southern side of the park, very crowded, wanted to just rack up as many pedestrian inter interactions, left-hand turns over traffic. Um, you can see the bright blue Tesla in front of us. It's a Revel, those are all electric. It's like an all electric Uber fleet, pretty unique. I think that's gonna be really cool when uh, FSD goes unsupervised, they probably can just get rid of the drivers at some point and just let the Revels pick people up autonomously. That would be really easy for them to make that transition. Um, the only issue is most of their fleet is hardware three Model 3s. So stay tuned to find out if they're even gonna be able to make those unsupervised. Um, in fact, they may just upgrade the hardware then in that case, we'll see. I mean, it is their entire business to, to have the cars driving around Manhattan. Um, I think we're much closer than we originally thought, to be honest. These versions are really rapidly improving. You can see it makes a nice stop uh, on a stale yellow there. It doesn't run through the light. Does a shockingly good job of navigating with all these like weird bikes and the garbage truck stopped in the middle of the road, all these things. I thought about going back through Times Square here. We get pretty close, but I didn't really think it was a smart idea in part because we would just get stuck in bumper to bumper traffic for a half hour. Overall, still a very impressive drive. Um, so far I've had, you know, no interventions and one accelerator tap the whole ride. You could see my, my foot get a little bit close to the uh, accelerator pedal a few times in anticipation of having to tap the pedal, but it, uh, it was doing really good. And you can see there's just a lot of cars and buses and people and narrow lanes here. And the car does a really nice job of just continuing forward. My uh, friend, as I was saying, that was in the passenger seat had never experienced any sort of full self-driving before. Um, he had previously seen, I guess, like basic autopilot, but nothing like this. And he could not believe just how good the system worked. And if it works this well in Manhattan, um, you know, watch out the rest of the United States because, uh, you know, just a really nice, really nice version that uh, that we're on here. And it's, you know, it's only up from here, which is great. Uh, you can see the car does a really nice job navigating this really narrow lane passage situation here. And um, I have the screen blurred because I put an address in that's somewhat close to um, where I needed to stop for the day and I didn't really feel like posting that on YouTube or X. So alas, it gets blurred. Um, we're back on park on the east side, probably around the mid 40s now. The car does a nice job waiting for the pedestrians and then um, makes a left over traffic here. And I know that there's a sign that says, don't make a left over traffic. That's a temporary construction sign and uh, there are several cars that were making this left-hand turn. I wanted to see how it would do. There's a lot of oncoming traffic. Um, seemed totally okay. You know, they still need to add more features to read those types of signs that aren't mapped into the map data. That would be nice. Um, I hope that comes in V13 with their other improvements, but we'll see. I think we're coming to the end of the drive now. And yeah, that's approximately one hour plus of driving sped up in New York City on a Saturday in the fall, probably one of the most crowded times of the year in New York. Car did an unbelievable job. Uh, and I can only go up from here, which is crazy to believe. But thanks so much for watching everyone and uh, subscribe or follow me on X. Thanks.